What's up, guys? This is Linus, the Taiwanese who teaches Chinese online. 新年快乐，祝你虎年行大运 ！Happy New Year, and I wish you good luck in the year of the tiger. Hope you all enjoy the holidays if you are in the Chinese-speaking country. Today, we will talk about a custom of giving red envelopes, 红包 during Chinese New Year. If you have a chance to give away red envelopes, but you don't know how to do it, this video is just the thing for you. Let's get started. Number one, what is a red envelope? 什么是红包 Red envelopes pretty much look like any other regular envelope, but they are red. Most of the time, it's rectangular with an opening on one of the short sides. This one here is the basic one with no decoration on it. However, sometimes it might have some pattern or New Year's blessings written on it. When preparing red envelopes, the money and the red envelope itself must be new, and you have to make sure that the red envelope. It's exactly for the year that you are celebrating. For example, this one has the pattern of a tiger and 2022 written on it, so it should only be used for this year. As tempting as reusing old envelopes may be, don't. If you give a red envelope with the wrong year or wrong symbol on it, it can easily turn into a very awkward situation. Number two, whom do I give red envelopes to? Red envelopes are given within the family. First and foremost, you give red envelopes to the older generation. For example, your parents, grandparents, and even great grandparents, if you are lucky enough to still have them with you. As for the younger generation, you give red envelopes to your kids, grandkids, nephews, nieces, and any other kids before they turn 18, start to work, graduate from university. Or get married. Where you draw line depends on each family's tradition. Giving red envelopes outside the family is optional. You can decide for yourself whether you want to give red envelopes to your friend's kids. If your friend gives a red envelope to your kid, it's probably best for you to do the same in return. Number three, two kinds of red envelopes during Chinese New Year. 过年的两种红包 The red envelopes we give to kids are called. 压岁钱 money that will keep 岁 away. This term comes from an old tale about an ancient monster called 岁 It has same pronunciation as 岁 that would scare kids and make them unable to fall asleep. To keep the monster away, you would place the red envelope under your pillow. The red envelope we give to our elders are called 天岁钱 money that will extend their lifespan. They represent your good wishes that they are able to live a long and prosperous life. Number four, how much should I prepare? 我该包多少 The amount of money that should be put in the red envelope is more of an art. Rather than a set of fixed rules, there are few principles that you should follow. Give what you can afford. There is no need to force yourself to prepare too much. Give within your means. The amount must be in even number, except four, because four in Chinese sounds like the word for death. The amount given to your parents and elders should increase every year, as this represents that your good wishes also increase. The amount given to your kids is more flexible. You can give the same amount each year, or you can increase it. The choice is yours. The ones that are given to all the people's kids are best kept the same, as this is the most fair approach. For reference of how much you should prepare, I put the list in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. Number five, don't seal the red envelope. 别封红包袋 Remember not to seal the red envelope after putting money in, because the good luck and the good fortunes might be blocked if you seal it. Therefore, just leave it open. Number six. When do I give red envelopes? 我什么时候给红包 Normally, people give red envelopes from Chinese New Year's Eve up until the fifth in the first month of the lunar calendar. However, the Lantern Festival, which is celebrated on the fifteenth day in the first month of the lunar calendar, is actually the last day of the Chinese New Year. So. It's okay to give envelopes up until this last day. Number seven. What do I do if someone gives me a red envelope?
如果有人给我红包 ，If you have trans relatives who give you red envelopes, you must take it with both hands and say 谢谢 plus their title on the refic plus 新年快乐 Happy New Year or 恭喜发财 Wish you prosperity and wealth. Also, do not, I repeat, do not check the content of the red envelope in front of the person handling it to you, as this would be considered very rude. Thank you for watching this video. I believe that you should now be better equipped to prepare and receive red envelopes during Chinese New Year. In addition to Chinese New Year, we also give red envelopes on people's wedding day, which I will introduce in another video soon. Have you ever given or received red envelopes? And what was your experience? If you have any funny or interesting Hongbao stories, let me know in the comments below. If you like my content, make sure that you subscribe, like, and share. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.